Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to next Android Android Indian tutorials. From here we will concentrate on Java. On Java, first we'll concentrate on Core Java tutorials. In Core Java, first entering into this Core Java, first we'll see introduction about Core Java. So what is Core Java and how it will and what are the versions, how it came, that we will see this. So introduction to Java. So before going to this Java, we need one clarity on program. Because using Java, we will write here programs. So what is program? So program is nothing but it's a set of instructions set of instructions what is instruction instruction means something like action so simply we can say program is a set of instructions which are executed by a machine to reduce the burden of the user or a human being by performing the operations faster without any mistakes simply it's a uh, reducing the button on human being without any mistakes that is called as a program it's a set of instructions like i want addition i want uh, multiplication or i want to print to 1 to 100 so that kind of will write but when i'm writing to write to 1 to 100 maybe i'll do some mistake in between and it time taken so, but when you write a something called program, it can execute whenever you want. So, it can reduce the time and it can be useful very quickly. So, that is program. After this program, using some of the programs, we build one software. So, software. Next word, we need to understand software. So software is nothing but it's a set of set of programs. Software is nothing but it's a set of programs. It's a combination of multiple programs which is called as a software. So it can be execute multiple tasks, multiple tasks because we are uh, combining multiple programs into a single software so that it can be execute that many things but here softwares are two types so softwares are two types we need to understand what type of softwares softwares are two types what are the types we need to understand the types so one is system based system software it's a system based software what is system based software so system based software is nothing but so system based software is nothing but which has designed to interact or communicate with hardware devices and make them work are called as a system software for example for example it's a operating system i installed windows so that windows as interacting with my hardware components then my laptop is working like same drivers sound drivers a bluetooth drivers etc so these all are the examples for this but for this system softwares example are which languages we are using to build this means c and C++ language will use to design such type of softwares that is system software. So simple words system software as designed to interact uh, or communicate with the hardware components hardware components to make them work. So that is called as a system software that is called as a system software. So that we can use as that we can use we can uh, build lot of applications using C and C++ applications. Then next. So 
next second type of application as that is application software so application software so what is application software this software as designed to store data provide entertainment process data do business generate reports etc means simply using this application we can store data so after storing the data we can do some data processing and finally we'll generate reports so like this is a simple different different applications what we are using in our regular life that is paytm and uh, railway tickets rtc tickets etc whatever it should be so this we called as an application software so you these kind of applications generally uh, will develop using java and dotnet java and dotnet and so on etc so many languages are there using that we can build but here so here our course is to java so java means here we will developing this applications so that is software application software we are building again in this software application there are two sub categories that is stand alone stand alone software another is a web based so what is stand alone so stand alone application is nothing but stand alone application is nothing but it can be executed in a single machine called as a stand alone application single machine like example as ms office i'm installing each and means every system we need to install ms office if we won't install in a second laptop it could not work like that and the players like this in each and every in each and every uh, each, each and every system we need to install stand alone application so that is called as a stand alone application then next same here web based web based web based so what is web based software so web based software means it can be executed in any machine and the context of browser using browser we can execute in any means whatever applications we are opening in a browsers like google gmail facebook whatever these all applications we can say as a web based application means will develop and will uh, install code somewhere but it can be accessible by anywhere from the browser any device not only laptop you can uh, access this is from mobile access wherever it should be so that is this. so this is the web based applications so nowadays mostly we are developing this web based applications so this is this and coming into other point here in this here in a java so this java as released by sun microsystems sun microsystems sun microsystems in the year of 1995 so this is introduced with three versions first version as jse java standard edition so this standard edition we can use to develop stand alone application if you want to develop stand alone application you need to learn as java standard edition that is the jse you need to develop that and the next j e e this is java enterprise edition so if you want to develop web based application web based application this is web based if you want to develop on a web based application this is enough means java enterprise edition is useful this and the last is jme java mobile based if you want to develop mobile application we can use as jmd java mobile edition but nowadays 
we are not using this mobile application because all mobiles are different mobile development applications are there mostly we are using that so now here what we are doing here we are concentrating on this uh, application the application software so here we are using this web based application so only this we will learn in this course so thank you for watching this so we'll see in a next video on features of java features of java we'll see in a next video thank you for listening this please subscribe to get more updates thank you